drones. Ask, look, listen. You have a new drone. Congratulations! It's very exciting, isn't it? This means you'll be keen to get out there and fly it. Maybe even take some video or photos. But just think for a minute. Did you realize that your new drone means that you are now a pilot? Have you thought about some of the implications of being a drone pilot? A lot of them are the same for flying a manned aircraft. After all, you have a fairly impressive aircraft in your possession and you are about to put it up in the air with a lot of other aircraft, all flying around at different heights and usually at much faster speeds. Hopefully, the supplier of your new drone has told you that in the United Kingdom, the Civil Aviation Authority, or CAA, is the body that provides all the rules and regulations about flying, including flying drones. To help you, the CAA has produced a guide called the Drone Code. You can find this easily online. Just search for the CAA and drones, and you'll quickly find it. It gives you lots of advice on how to operate within the rules and how to be safer. Of course, the CAA is concerned about civil aircraft. But what about military aircraft? You probably didn't know that military aircraft, fast jets and helicopters, fly a lot lower than civil aircraft. Military aircraft can go as low as 100 feet. Helicopters can get right down below the tree line, sometimes even just above the ground depending on what they need to do. The point is, military flying shares the same air as you. We want to share the air with you, safely. Your drone must have cost a lot of money. So did our aircraft. We're on the same side when it comes to seeing what's out there and avoiding it. The trouble is, it's a lot easier for you to see them than it is for them to see you. Military aircraft can fly very fast at low level. And a drone can do a lot of damage, even at low speeds, never mind injuring the crew on board. We want you to understand that low flying happens across large areas of the country. It can be particularly busy near airfields, where aircraft are taking off and coming into land. On any airfield, aircraft might be going around a circuit practicing takeoffs and landings again and again. It can get very busy around an airfield. To help you, NATS, the National Air Traffic Management Company, responsible for safely managing UK airspace, has released an app called Drone Assist that you can easily download for free. Drone Assist presents you with an interactive map of airspace used by commercial air traffic and military aircraft so that you can see areas to avoid or areas where extreme caution should be exercised, as well as ground hazards that might pose safety, security or privacy risks when you're flying your drone. It also contains a Fly Now feature that enables you to share your drone flight location with other app users and the wider drone community, helping to reduce the risk of a drone-related incident in UK airspace. It will help you to choose where it might be best to fly your drone and where not to. So, before you go flying, please try to think ahead. We need you to think about where you are and who else might be there. If you think you are near a military airfield, or any airfield for that matter, pick up the phone and ask to talk to air traffic control. They will let you know what's happening and help you to fly your drone as safely as you can. While you are flying, we need you to stay alert and listen out for low-flying aircraft. Remember, a drone is not a toy, and as the pilot, you are responsible for its safe operation. Drones. Ask. Look. Listen.